The Tokyo Game Show is underway and Bandai Namco is showing some One Piece Odyssey. Will they have anything new? We're gonna find out. Grand Line. Red line during that travel. Is someone dubbing this in real time? Who is that? They're not dubbing this part. TGS is usually Japan only. So just having someone dubbing that stuff is pretty cool. I bet Ben I could afford a better microphone, <laughs> but it's better than nothing. Yes. You got it. Chips were meant for flying. Is this another character introduction trailer? We've had one of these before. I, I love the style of these, though. Look at that. <laughs> what did you shoot? <laughs> oh, I guess the lightning, huh? We're just attacking lightning. Kick the lightning, Sanji! Nice icebergs. In the sky. You got it, Luffy. Ooh. This style is really growing on me. At first, I was like, I don't like this art style at all. But it is it is growing on me. Especially if cut, if there are more cutscenes like that. Oh, stylish as hell. <laughs> at the end of that? What? A new conclusion. Okay. One piece That's a really bad way of doing dubs, but okay. They made a PowerPoint again. Woohoo! Japan and PowerPoints, man. All right, they're gonna play. You're gonna play the video game. No! No! Stop showing this demo! Not again! They need to stop showing this demo over and over. This is the third convention with the same build. <sighs> The game comes out this year. You gotta have something else to show at this point, right? This first battle is always the same. All I can do is press attack in this one. It's very tutorialized. But a couple of battles from now, they might do things differently. We'll see. Okay, I think this is the first fight where you actually have some freedom. Do what they do. They're doing it the boring way. God damn it. I wonder if they're gonna show the boss fight this time at the very least. But we don't have much time left nope. for this game play now. Nope. So. They cut the demo even shorter than last time. We have a new information here. And we have a trailer for that. They have new information and a trailer. Okay. They brought something to the Tokyo Game Show. Alright, a little bit of lore. And we get into game. Is this... That's the start of the game, right? Luffy, asleep, at the beach. You wash the shore. I want to solve some some of those dungeons, some of those uh, puzzle dungeons. I, I want to do that. I'm curious about that part. I'm excited about the combat. I think the demo showed that, you know, combat, there's some freedom and some unique stuff there. Exploration-wise, I haven't felt very motivated to explore yet. It's just point A to point B fight along the way. So I hope there's stuff. And some of these scenarios look really good and inviting to explore. Is that the giant from the legend? Yeah, you gotta find all the jump force cubes. I wouldn't call this a big reveal. Hello, hey, that's new. I spoke too soon. <gasps> Vivi? What are you doing there? Were we in Alavasta for a second? I don't think they're touching on Vivi and Alavasta at all. They just move on. Look at this nice picture that Oda made. Yes, but what was that? I want to know what was the end of that trailer. That is actually Alabasta. Huh. What are they doing there? We're not only going to Walford, we're gonna see some other places. Are we, like, gonna teleport with the cubes or... Because we're not gonna sail there by ship. 
But that's interesting. That makes us ask some story questions. That makes me feel intrigued. Makes me want to know more. This presentation is taking a turn for the better. There is a story that we can create because they are two years later. That's a very interesting point. This is taking place two years after they've first been to Alabasta. So they can actually tell a whole new story in a location that players know and love, while at the same time being something brand new because we haven't been there in two years. That's awesome. There's another announcement. Release date. So the launch day of One Piece of the Same. January 12th. They lied. <laughs> It's not 2022. I'll take it though. Yeah, and they're acknowledging we, we were planning for 2022, but we needed extra time. I mean, clearly you've been showing the same demo for like three months. You clearly need some extra time. Yo, with this special offer, you can get some apples. And that's the old school costumes. And they have video of the, the skins. Okay. Oh, also Soga King. That's also a skin. Ugh, this color though. Oh, they capture this with HDR. That's what happens to colors on capture software. If you have HDR on, it, it looks terrible. But the skin is good and the statue. Also, they're pretty much announcing that they're going to have an expansion DLC later on because two of these additions include the One Piece Odyssey expansion DLC. And here's a video of the statues. Uh, the statue is, you know, it's two characters, but single statue. I think it looks good. I think this one looks good. They don't always look great in these limited editions, but I like the look of this one. You know, when the show started, I was expecting something. And then they started playing the old demo and I started expecting nothing. But I think in the end, they gave us a little bit. Alabasta suggests we're going to go to a ton of places that are not just uh, Wofford Island. And they released it January 12th. I'm still excited for this one, but I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. So I would like to know, does the inclusion of Alabasta and potentially other iconic One Piece locations does that change your opinion on the game at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!